Okay, guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this one another problem from Chapter 9, Hemostatics. The problem says that locate the centroid y bar of the paraboloid. So now, as we know that uh, y bar is, if we apply the principle of moment equation, so then y bar is equal to uh, y tilde times dv, since this is a solid, right? Since a 3D solid, so we have to apply the volume formula. So this is y tilde times dv divided by the integration of dv. So to evaluate this equation, we have to define a differential volume. So let's say that somewhere here at a distance of y from the origin, we have this differential volume. Let's say this is my differential volume and it has some thickness. Let's say that this is the thickness of this volume and the thickness is along the y-axis so this is dy this is dy and this profile is defined by this equation this profile is defined by z square equals to 4y so the centroid of this differential volume will be located at its geometric center right so this is the uh, the centroid of this differential volume and this centroid is located at a distance of y from the origin right so we can say that this is y tilde which will be equal to y and similarly uh, the radius of uh, this differential volume if you want to find the area of this circle so that radius of this circle is defined by the uh, by the by this profile by the z coordinate of this profile right so let me write that this is equal to z so now if you want to define our differential volume so differential volume will be equal to the area this surface area of this differential volume multiplied by the thickness which is dy and as we know that the area of the circle is always equal to pi r square and now the r is defined this is r is equal to z in this particular case so z square is equal to 4y so we can write that this is pi z square and pi and z square is equal to 4y so this is 4y so we can write that area is 4 pi y so now we can write that dv is 4 pi y area is 4 pi y dy and then we have to integrate this to find the denominator of this equation we have to integrate this so this is the integration and and we need to integrate this since the integration is with respect to dy so we have to add up all the volumes from y equals to 0 until y equals to 4 meters so we have to integrate this from y equals to 0 until y equals to 4 meters so 4 pi is constant and when we integrate this y with respect to dy so this will become y square divided by 2 from 0 to 4 and this will uh, give us 2 pi y square and now if I put these limits this is 2 pi 4 square minus and instead of 5 we put 0 so everything will become 0 so this is uh, 4 4 square is 16 and 16 into 2 is 32 so this is 32 pi and this since this is this gives us the total volume of this solid so this will be in meter cube now we we need to find this integration as well so that integration is y tilde times dv and as i have told you people that y tilde is equal to y since this differential volume is located at a distance of y from this origin so this is y times dv and we know that dv is equal to uh, 4 pi y dy so this is 4 pi y dy and if we write that constant outside of the integration and this will become y square dy and again the integration is with respect to y so we have to integrate this from 0 to 4 meters so this is 4 pi and this is y to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to 4 so if we put these limits so 4 pi and this is 4 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 0 so everything will become 0 so now 4 to the power 3 multiplied by 4 this gives us 256 so this is 256 pi divided by 3 
So, this is the numerator of this equation and this is the denominator of that equation. So, we can write it is uh, this will be equal to, so this is 256 pi divided by 3 and divided by that 32 pi. So, pi will cancel out and we will be left with this. So, 256 divided by 3 divided by 32 gives us 8 divided by 3 which is 2.67. So, y bar is 2.67 meters. So, this means that the centroid of this whole solid is located at a distance of 2.67 meters from this origin. So, the centroid is located somewhere here. So, from a little bit forward from the midway. So, the whole uh, y coordinate is 4 meters, right? The whole thickness of this solid is 4 meters. So, that centroid is located somewhere here, let us say this is 2.67 from this origin. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed my channel yet. Do like this video if you people want me to solve uh, such more problems from Hibbler statics.